really get a better place. It'll take. Hi, this is Mary from Mary's Stamping Happenings, and today is Tips and Techniques Tuesday. And I'm going to show you how to use the new square pillow box um, thinlet from Stamping Up to make these great um, little uh, boxes. And I put in these boxes some 3x3 three three cards. I'm going to be giving these away at Bingo Night. Uh, if you're here in Cheyenne, October 1st is Bingo Night at Triumph Hall High School, so just head on over there. What you're going to need is you're going to need the um, square pillow box thinlets. I'm going to use the large square to cut out the window, and I'm going to use this. You're going to make two of these. going to cut out two of those. Also, I'm going to use try to use tear and tape this time. You notice this one is not as sticky. I use some snail on this. Again, I don't like using snail in this um, area because it's so dry that it comes off. But I had a lot of snail and not so much tear and tape. So I'm going to try some tear and tape and hopefully that works good. I have put some tear and tape on some of these. Uh, to fix it, but I see some of them are also coming off, so I'm going to have to fix all of them. Hopefully the tearing tape will work. If not, I'll go back to my sticky strip. Um, I don't want them to fall apart. You're also going to need your, your magnetic platform and your big shot. You're going to need two pieces of designer series paper, six, in, six inches by six inches, and you're going to need your big shot. So I'm going to start right now. I'm going to make my sandwich. You notice I have a shim. I noticed making these I need a shim to cut them out. So I'm going to lay down my six by six and I'm going to lay down my thinlet. And then I'm going to line up my square in the middle, and I'm going to put a topper on it, my top piece of bread for my sandwich. Then I'm going to run this through. And then I have one cut out like that, and a little piece I can use that for making cards. Then I'm going to do the second one. Right now I'm using up a lot of my old um, designer series paper. Now when you cut these out with the Big Shot, the Thinlet does have a scoring piece here. You're also going to need um, a piece of window sheet and some glue dots to hold that window sheet on. So I'm going to put the glue dots on the window right now on the corners, the four corners of that. Because I, a few times I have forgotten to put the window sheet on and it's really hard after you get this connected to put the window sheet on. Unless you use snail and it pops off. <laughs> well, we don't want to do that, do we? Okay, so the four on there, and I'm just going to lay the window sheet to cover that up. Now you notice there is little flaps on here, so I'm going to fold those little flaps down, and that is where I'm going to put my tear and tape. On both of those flaps. And what you're going to do, and I'll show you before I take my tear and tape, the uh, ends, the... What we're going to do now is we're going to try to line these up. And now you can go like this and put them down. But I find they move every once in a while. I found the best way is, again, you're going to just take off one of the... Th pieces and you're going to then put that like that and you're going to make sure those little go like that. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. We're just going to take off this one, 
from the tear and tape. I'm going to put it just like this, making sure those two holds just like that. Line up. Take your finger out. Go like that. Now the second side is really easy. Just take that off of there. Fold it in half. Make sure that's down. And you got it like this. You also have score lines right on the ends. So you just score them down like that on both sides. Now I did find a little trick. Say you've got something fairly heavy in here that you don't want to come out. See, you can decorate however you want it. You can put things in there. But if you want something heavy in here and you don't want it to fall out, because sometimes these just pop up, what you want to do is see the two little half circles there. You're going to put one side down, then the other, and you're going to link them like that. And it stays. It's pretty solid compared to this side that just pops up. See? It stays pretty well. You can then just use this side again just to close it. But for Tips and Techniques Tuesday, there you go. You have the new pillow, square pillow box uh, thinlet from Stamping Up. Thanks for visiting and happy stamping.